and good day. This is Coach Big Pete of DeepDishFootball.com. We report, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> I've been going over conference previews for uh, the 2017 season, and now let's do uh, just another small school conference. Uh, well, small, yeah, small school conference, you can say. Um, Kinkakee area, outside of that, um, the Sagamon Valley Conference. Um, it's going to be another interesting year. Um, a lot of seniors have graduated um, from this conference, especially Central and Paxton. Had a lot of seniors graduate. Dwight had a good amount of seniors graduate too. So I do a preview, um, and I've said this before. Um, Elmwood High School football is a huge parody of itself. What is up? This year could be down the year before that. What is down this year could be the up the year before that, for next year. And especially with small school football. Small school football is one of the most unstable, unpredictable football. And that's why I like it so much. Because the team that you can think that's going to be the worst is going to be good. The team that you think that's going to be good is actually just absolutely the worst. It's going to be an interesting year. So I do top dog, middle of the road, and underdog in my three categories. So let's start this thing off. Um, the Sagamon Valley Conference, okay, my first two top dogs. Got my notes here too. Um, first one, moments. Um, talented team. Jason Bargy, heavy recruited. Lamar uh, Lillard. Uh, they got a bunch of other young little talented kids, a bunch of talented kids. It's going to be another interesting year for moments, especially this year. Um, I think that they can pop, possibly make a run in the conference. Um, there's some teams that are going to get in their way. And when I announce the second dog for my top my top dog team, you'll understand. My second one is Wasika. And Brandon Fletcher um, and Tim Wright for Wasika. Um that what moments game versus what Sika game I think will be uh, the game for the conference. Um, it's going to be a hell of a game, especially with uh, Jason Bargy. If he if he does both sides of the ball, that's going to be even scarier. Uh, <clears throat> Brandon Fletcher, quarterback of Wasika, is probably one of the top small school quarterbacks in the state of Illinois. Um, again, still not getting enough respect that he deserves. Uh, good kid. Class act, same way with Jason Bargy, another class act. It's going to be an interesting. Year. It's going to be interesting year for both those teams because both those teams are going to be heavily scouted. It should be a really interesting year for both teams, and I hope to get to the game of uh, Momentum versus Wasika. Now, my middle of the road teams, Central, um, Central's uh, Ka uh, Colin uh, Crumwade, Crumwade uh, is. Uh, my player that I'll be looking at for at Central, good player. Um, they lost their uh, big offensive tackle and their big tight end. Um, it's going to be an interesting year for Central, and I'll get when I go for the teams. I'll just I'll tell you why. <clears throat> they lost a lot of players, but there's something that's good about this, uh, especially for the this upcoming season, the first games. My next one, Dwight. Um, Again, another team that lost some key players. Good wide receiver. I like their defensive tackles slash offensive lineman, Xavier Slaughter. It's going to be, again, like I said, uh, we, these these three teams that I talk about in the world are going to be rebuilding. But there's something where it could be turned into momentum. And as a small school team, you need that momentum. First two wins... After those first two wins, it's win, 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 win. That's what it's like. And for these teams, it's scary. Dwight, okay, my last team, I have Paxson. Uh, Paxson, Buckley, Loda, Paxson, I call Paxson. Looks out, look out for Alex Pippen and Dar uh, Dylan Paulson. Now, let me get to what I was going to say. Paxson and Dwight have a chance to go on a streak. In their fir the first uh, the first uh, couple games, Paxson and Dwight. These are momentum teams. It's going to be a momentum 
it's going to be momentum with them. If they're able to win those two first games, watch out. That's the scary part about both those teams. Now, Clifton, on the other hand, Clifton Central, they got two tough games. <laughs> really tough games. Uh, surprising teams. I don't know why they're playing Hersher. That's a tough, tough game. Um, but it's going to be an interest. An inter like uh, these middle of the road teams, uh, like I said, if they get those two first games, watch out for them because they're going to keep on rolling and they got a chance to upset Wasika and upset or upset moments. I have. Um, I have Paxton, Buckley, Loda as my surprise team. I think they, I think they could get to five wins and get to in, in uh, uh, inside the playoffs. But again, predictions mean nothing. You got to put the helmet on. You got to play the game. Simple as that. And my underdog team is Eric Coy West, um, Nolan, uh, Eldon, uh, athlete. Um, is a player to look out for. <clears throat> and Eric Coy West again. They have a tough schedule. It's uh they're. It's going to be another tough season for Eric or West. Um, but it could be interesting. Like I said, momentum works. Um, like I said, moments versus Wasika game of the uh, game of the year. Uh, this is the weirdest conference because you have three players that could go to Division One, especially for this small conference. And it's something beautiful, especially for that. So. Again, the Sagamon Valley Conference, it's going to be a year to remember, especially the moments in Wasika game. Um, I do think... I do think moments could... Well, if... I'll tell you what. If Central... If Central Dwight Paxton... Uh, if they get into the playoffs... I would be scared to face him. Moments, I don't want to face because for some reason, I think this could be a very special year for Moments. Wasika, if Brandon Fletcher catches on fire, it'd be scary, especially if he hits the short targets. If he goes in because any high school quarterback that goes after long targets, he's cold. The short targets, the short dumps, the playmaking ability, the ability to get over 3.5 average yards uh, yards per pass, that's scary. And if Brandon Fletcher does that, but yeah, Sagamon Valley Conference should be a very interesting one, especially Momentum Wasika. But um, I'm officially done with the Sagamon Valley Conference. If you like my stuff, please visit deepestfootball.com. Also, follow Coach Big Pete and Deepest Football on Twitter and Facebook. If you have any questions, comments, or want to just yell at me, uh, visit me, uh, send me an email at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. This Saturday, if, if uh, the 29th, 29th, I will be at the Central 7-on-7 seven seven and um, Lineman Challenge. Feel free to please say hi to me, or you can yell at me, or you can say, hey, asshole, you're wrong. No problem. But if you, uh, and again, if you like what I had to say and, Probably most of you don't. Uh, go to the website, deepdishfootball.com, and leave a tip or whatever on the right section. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.